Hi guys, it's Gavin here from kellystriders.com. Today I just wanted to tell you about the improvements we've had this year from uh, our joggers. Um, now these improvements have came both in terms of the amount of distance they've been able to run without stopping um, and also um, the actual speed they've been able to complete uh, distances at. So we've seen a lot of personal bests this year, over 5k and 10k. We've also seen a lot of people being able to achieve these distances for the first time. Now, at the Kelly Striders, I've got two priorities. My first priority is that everybody's having fun and enjoying themselves. Uh, my other priority is that people are seeing some kind of improvement. Now, that's the improvement's really down to a couple of things. Um, the motivation of training in a group, but also the type of training that we're doing. Okay, now, just going to get a wee bit sciencey with you here, not too much. Basically, when you're out running or you're doing any activity, um, when you increase the intensity, there comes a point where lactate gets produced, or more lactate gets produced than can be removed. Okay, so you get this build up of a, a lactate in the blood. Okay, at, at the point where you can't remove enough of it, you're going to have to slow down at whatever activity you're doing, okay, because your body can't simply can't go at that speed, okay. So, that's I call this your kind of fatigue line, if you like. Now, if you look at my little bit of paper here, okay, this solid line here, imagine this is your point of fatigue, okay, this is the point where. If you if you go any quicker, if you work any harder, then you're gonna have to slow down. Okay. Now, for most people when they're out jogging themselves, they'll keep it fairly comfortable. Okay, and they'll just be down here. In terms of intensity, they'll be down here at this kind of dash line. Okay, just working at one continuous pace, which can be a wee bit boring and doesn't really get much improvement. And um, what we do at the Kelly Striders, we do kind of three types of session. Okay, we do. Um, what's called number two there an interval session so that's this solid line that's going up and down here okay so what we're doing we're going to have periods of effort where we're going above our fatigue line okay and then we're going to have periods of recovery so we kind of we earn the recovery by pushing ourselves above this line of fatigue take the recovery and then push ourselves up above the line of fatigue again okay the other session we do is called a tempo run okay that's a continuous run but we try and do it just below our point of fatigue so it, it is getting out of your comfort zone there's no denying that but it breeds really good results now both by doing both of these sessions both the interval type session okay and the tempo run okay close around this point of fatigue over time this point of fatigue will move up to here okay so therefore you can go for faster for longer, simple as that. The third session we do do at the Kelly Striders because there's still a place for it is this kind of long, longer, steadier session, okay, where you're not massively out of your comfort zone. It's more about building up the distance than uh, increasing the speed, okay. But people tend to just stay at this type of session all the time, okay. What we do is we combine all three, so we've got a tempo run. We've got interval training and we've got slow steady runs and that's why we've managed to get such great results um, both in terms of the distance people can run and in terms of the time that they can achieve these runs at. Okay, hope that all makes sense. Um, if you want to get involved with the Kelly Striders, you can contact me at gavin at kellystriders.com. Cheerio. Bye bye.